suppose, really uh, gives you a little pleasure, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, the first half wasn't our standards and put a few things right at half time and made sure we were giving this amazing crowd um, something to, to cheer about. Um, I know it's an October evening on a Friday, it's very hard to get out to these games and tell it, especially with the road closures and that on the way. So it's a big, big thank you to all the fans that came out tonight. We've got another really important game um, in November here. Um, so we need them We need them uh, cheering us on for that as well. And three from three, you're in a fantastic position now. Five clear of uh, Hungary after their victory over Northern Ireland tonight. So exactly where you want to be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for us, it's just about gaining momentum now, gaining confidence in our performances um, and really looking to, to improve how we play. Um, we want to obviously build off this again on Tuesday, um, but we are just taking it each game as it comes. I know it's a cliche, but um, we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. We just want to keep building the momentum and, and building the confidence within the team. Katie, I know you'll tell us it's all about the team, but you know, Ballon d'Or nomination is, is a special thing. It's a rare thing for Irish footballers. Yeah. Um, will you watch the ceremony on Monday? Any plans to sit down together? We'll have training on Monday. Uh, it's match day minus one, so um, yeah, I think we've got an evening session in Albania. Um, might stick it on if I'm able to, but um, yeah, look, my full focus will be on preparing for Albania the Tuesday. Um, again, like I said, I know um, it's, a, it's a real honour to be nominated for those awards um, up with some of the best in the world, the best in the world. So it's a, it's a massive honour for me personally, but um, as I said, I wouldn't be able to do it um, without the support of my teammates here at the Public of Ireland and at Arsenal as well. I support a the Springer step though, just you started the season so well, you know, you've taken it into you know, the end of the season well, you started the season well again, but it must be something that gives you a bit of confidence. Yeah, of course. For me, it's it's all about just focusing on the team. Um, I think for me, I just try work as hard as, po as I possibly can for for whoever I'm representing, whether that's uh, back at club level or, or here with Ireland. And I've got fantastic teammates to, to help help do that. So um, yeah, it's just yeah, I'm just enjoying my football at the minute. How did you find playing up the top, let's say, with Kira? Because obviously people have been calling for ages to see you up higher the pitch. Yeah, look, I enjoyed it. Um, we've got, um, obviously, Izzy came in on the left wing back role. Um, she's got a fantastic left foot and she's doing really well at West Ham and she's been training really, really well. So, manager obviously um, put her in. So, yeah, it was up to me to just stay high um, and, uh, yeah, try to be a nuisance up there at times. And, um, yeah, as I said, I'll play anywhere, really, for the team. Um, Hopefully I'll not be in defence on Tuesday, but uh, but yeah, I just yeah I just try to give it my best wherever I am on the pitch. Do you think that's been a product kind of the, of the Nations League? Do you talk about Izzy, but Abby as well was a big person who featured, and then Aaron coming on as well. You're getting those younger players in, and that kind of experience too. Yeah, look, it's really um, exciting in, in terms of having the the young girls coming through. Um, when you're in a World Cup campaign and then go to a World Cup, it's it's hard because obviously you're kind of fixed on, on certain positions so this is a real area for us to um, well not for me but the manager and the coaching staff to have a look at players and the girls have been doing terrific since coming in and training um, and they're rewarded with the start and I think they all done really really well tonight. I think that's the first time we've heard we've got McCabe and Ireland match. Yeah it's nice. Was <laughs> yeah as I said the fans were incredible tonight um, even when the goal went in and we conceded they, they cheered, they cheered and, and kept us going and kept the momentum and really kept the energy in the stadium for us to, to go forward so um, they, they're massive for us um, no matter where we go so yeah I'm hoping to see them all in November as well for the Great, game. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.